I'm Nick Kessler, and this is Capital Region Sunday. I have a terrific guest on the phone today, this morning. I've got Mark Maholland. He's uh, going to talk about the fourth annual Mother Loving Day 5K 2016. It's a run walk. It's coming to the Capital Region. Mark, how are you this morning? Good morning, Nick. How are you? Oh, I'm I'm fantastic. This is exciting. This is some exciting stuff that's coming to the Capital Region. Yeah, we're uh, it's as you said, Nick. It's our fourth annual 5K, and it's. Uh, on by our organization, which is called Kelly's Angels Incorporated, and Kelly's Angels is a, an organization, a charity, a 501c3 charity, which we began uh, a few years ago after my wife passed away from cancer. The organization helps children who have lost a parent to cancer, and recently, just a couple of months ago, we've uh, expanded the scope of our charity to add uh, helping children who have lost a sibling to cancer as well. And the whole idea uh, is to help those kids who have seen some pretty dark times, some pretty dark days, and put smiles on their faces, help them have a little joy in their life after uh, having lost a, a loved one to cancer. Fantastic. I mean, it's, it's such a great event that you guys put on. Now, Kelly's Angels, since 2008, correct? Yes. Now, this is the fourth annual race. Now, how has the, the race progressed throughout the years? The race is, is done incredibly well. In fact, I should mention that it's called the Mother Lovin' Day 5K, and it's on Mother's Day at the Saratoga Spa State Park. Yeah, very fitting name. <laughs> yes. And we, we encourage people to sign up. They can sign up uh, through Kelly's Angels Facebook or Kelly's Angels website at kellysangelsinc.org. But this is the fourth annual. The first year, it wasn't called the Mother Lovin' Day 5K. It was called Run Like a Mother. <laughs> Another very, you guys are, are good with the puns. Well, we, we thought that was a catchy name, but it turns out that someone had trademarked that name. So they contacted us after the first one and said, hey, would you not mind not using it? Or if you'd like, you can pay some money and you can use it yourself. But we chose to send all the money to, to kids instead of continuing with the run like a mother name. So it's now the Mother Loving Day 5K. And it, it's, it, it's fitting that it's uh, on Mother's Day because my late wife was a, a devoted mother and she wanted nothing more than to get better so she could help children she was all about kids so this organization and this event is all about the children wow and and you know that it's it's great that we can all come together and that, that you can recognize the passion that she had to help kids and, and and put this event on and so that's the mother love and day 5k it's coming to the capital region very fitting on mother's day and now so tickets Mark, right now, you can get them $25 for individuals. It's 30 the day of the race. You were encouraging people to get those ahead of time. Exactly, yes. And I should tell you that if people sign up in advance, then they're guaranteed a T-shirt, a commemorative T-shirt that go very fast. So if they sign up in advance, they can do that at our website or at our Facebook page. It's $25 in advance, $30 the day of. So, yes, we people can just show up at the Saratoga Spa State Park in the Orenda Pavilion in the State Park, and they show up on, on race day. We'll gladly register them, and it's $30 race day, $25 in advance. And it all goes to charity, so? No overhead at all. Uh, we, it's an all-volunteer organization, and everyone does it out of their, the goodness of their heart. So virtually every dollar that we raise goes to the children. And, you know, you, you pay $25 to, to pre-register, you save $5, but you can also donate that $5, too. I mean, sounds like a great idea. And now we're talking about the progression of this event. Now, you had over, like, 1,500 participants and supporters, correct, last we, year's, at last we, year's event? So it's growing. Did, yes, but each year it's grown. I, I think the first year we had about 500 participants and then, you know, several hundred more supporters who come out. But it's not, if, if you're not into running... It's a great event as well because we encourage people to walk. People bring strollers. People, some people come and participate without ever going on the course because we have some events there as well. We have what we call an angel auction, so it's a silent auction type thing. We have businesses who come and donate products and services for people to enjoy. Saratoga Gelato will be providing gelato to people. King Dairy will be providing their world-famous chocolate milk to people. So it's, it's an event not just for those runners and walkers, but we encourage you to, to come along if, even, if, even if you're not into the, the fitness aspect of it. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, no matter what, we can come together. And you know what? Gelato and milk is important for running. I, I'm not an expert, but I'm sure that's got to be <laughs> – I'm sure that's got to have nutritional value. Calcium and – there's got to exactly. be some protein in, in gelato and, uh, and chocolate course. milk. I mean, there's got to be. 
Turn that down, right? <laughs> yeah, right. So, um, again, if you're just joining me, I'm talking to Mark Maholland from... Now, you may recognize his voice, actually. Yeah, yeah actually, <laughs> from, I, I work for, for Channel 13. That's yeah. yeah, so so you might recognize him. Of course, we're talking about Kelly's Angels Incorporated. It's a charity we're putting on Mother Lovin' Day 5K 2016, and, of course, it's on Mother's Day. Okay, so tell us a little bit about uh, the fun grants. I'm reading about these fun grants. Can you tell yeah, the please, listening yeah. audience about these? So, as I mentioned, the mission of the organization is to help children who have lost a parent or a sibling to cancer. And the goal is to put smiles on their faces. And what better way to do that than to uh, allow a child to do whatever his or her heart desires. We've helped children by providing them grants to do whatever they like. We've sent them on trips. We've sent them to amusement parks. We've helped a boy buy a guitar because he enjoyed playing guitar with his, with his father before his father passed away. We've uh, helped a little girl purchase a a pet because that's what her mom wanted for her before she passed away. So whatever their heart desires, certainly within reason, we provide them with the means to do that. Not unlike everyone's heard about Make-A-Wish. This is not unlike Make-A-Wish. Uh, Make-A-Wish has been a hugely successful organization over the years, so we sort of took a, a page from their playbook, dedicated it to the survivors. Make-A-Wish helps the, the children who are, who are going through life-threatening illnesses. This helps children who are left behind by by a right, and it's, uh, that's great, Mark. And it, it's a lot to go through, and organizations like uh, Kelly's Angels make sure that these kids don't go through it alone, and that's important. Yeah, and, and that's, it, it, it's funny you should say that, Nick, because we hear from some of the families we've helped. We've had some gatherings at holiday time where we invite uh, all of the children and their families who we've helped, and they say it's important for our kids to know that they're not alone, that they're not the only ones who lost their mom or the only ones who lost their dad. And I can tell you selfishly, when we started the organization many years ago, that was part of my goal to let my own children. My own children were seven and five when I lost my wife, and they lost their mom. So I wanted them to know that we can help others, and that there are others out there who have, who have gone through similar circumstances. Well, great example, Mark, and it, this is fantastic work. Well, thank you. Now, speaking of kids, uh, this event, you've mentioned it's pretty much for anybody. Now, for kids, though, the actual run is free, correct? It is. Yeah, we have a kids' fun run, and the, the little ones love that because they uh, they each get a bib number, just like the big runners or the big racers. And they, and they got a lot of energy to run around too. They can they can probably run for days. And, and uh, when they have a little chocolate milk and some gelato. They yeah, can... yeah. Now on a good day, I'm lucky to get through a k, let alone a five k. Let alone five of them. <laughs> you and me both. Yeah. Uh, but the kids don't have any problem with that. But they do a, It's a little shorter fun run that we do in advance of the of the longer version. Kids like it. We have a other kids' events there. We have a, a photo booth that families love to take advantage of too, with the, the silly faces and the costumes and the get-ups that they can all uh, that they can all do either before or after the run as well. Wow, there's a lot of fun stuff to look forward to. And again, that's Mother's Day, Mother Love and Day 5K. It's coming to the Capital Region on Mother's Day, May 8th, Sunday. And so now, Mark, we've talked about this. Now, I'm not a runner. But this is like a run-at-your-own-pace kind of thing. So feel free to just show up. You can walk. You can run. You can just you can roll, you can you can, roll, you, yeah, enjoy, you enjoy the food. Now, say there is a serious runner who wants to run. Maybe he can't make it. Maybe he can't do anything. Now, can they just stop by just to donate to uh, Kelly's Angels? They can stop by to donate, or they can always donate online through PayPal or credit card at kellysangelsinc.org. Yes, but we do have some serious runners. We should say that. And we, there are prizes, there are medals for each of the top finishers in all of the age groups by gender. And we also have some prizes for the top overall male and female finisher. So, yes, we do get a, our share of some serious runners as well. It's a fun course, they tell me. There are some bragging rights on the line. We, we have a defending champion coming back. Oh, okay. So, uh, yeah, so it's a mixture. It's a, a mixture of the serious runners, and the novice runners, the walkers, the strollers, and those folks who just want to help kids. Great. Now, after the race, now how can one get involved all year long with Kelly's Angels? All year long, the best way to reach out to us is through our website or through Facebook. Uh, Kelly's Angels has a Facebook, and we have a website uh, which is linked to Facebook. So it's kellysangelsinc.org. We'd invite people to, in fact, we, we'd invite people, if they'd like to volunteer for the run, we'd love to hear from them as well. We always have some, some duties that need to be taken care of on race day and before race day. So we'd love it if, if people of the Capital Region, your listeners, well, fantastic, Mark. I'm excited for this. I might actually do this. Like I said, on a good day, I could do a K. We'd love 
I'd love I, for you to come, Nick. If I'm trying. I've, I've been. I, I, I assure you, you don't have to run. Well, I should. Track. I should. Hey, I could use a little running. I, I, <laughs> I would love to come down. I, this would be great. Okay, so of course, Kelly's Angels. It's the Mother Loving Day 5K on Mother's Day. Of course, it's a uh, Sunday, May 8th. It starts at 8:45. It's at the. Now, I'm not exactly from this area, Mark. Or Arenda Pavilion. Is that how you say that? It's the Arenda Pavilion. Well it's, done. And uh, Saratoga Spa State Park. That's where it's all going down. There's all your listeners are, are aware of uh, this back parking lot. It's free parking. Is, is if you're going to a concert, it's back. Uh, you park the, in the same place. So we encourage everyone to come out and have a great time and support a great cause. That is Kelly's Angels. Mark, thank you so much for joining me. This is Mark Maholland. Nick, thank you very much. I appreciate your time and I appreciate you allowing me to, to talk to people about it. No problem, Mark. It's, you know, we, we need to come together for events like this and really get the message across and make and, and change children's lives, frankly. Thank you very much. Yes, we do. It's important. All right. Thank you, Mark. Thank you so much.